Welcome to Cheyenne, Wyoming, March 29, 1953, and steam is still king on the Union Pacific Railroad. It's a busy morning with a steady stream of westbound trains tackling the famous Sherman Hill. With a ruling grade of 1.55%, even trains that are mostly empty are assigned a helper engine to keep the tonnage up to track speed. First up is 210-2407, assisting class locomotive 9000, the first Union Pacific type engine. Freshly topped off with fuel and water, the pair begin their assault on the grade. As the hill begins at yard limits, the two engine crews must work together to gain as much speed as possible before digging into the grade. For this is the Wyoming division, where more tonnage is hauled and faster than any other mountain division in the world. Fifty four oh seven was originally built for the Oregon Washington Railroad and Navigation Company in nineteen twenty three. Designed for mainline freight service, it was pushed out of its assignment in Oregon to be sent east to run out its final years in helper assignments. At the top of the hill, 5407 will cut off from the head of the train. After turning on the Y, it will drift back light to Cheyenne, ready for its next assignment. Meanwhile, 9000 drops downhill with brake shoes smoking to Laramie on the original main line, built in 1868. With a ruling grade of 1.82%, this became the dedicated westbound track when a second track was added in 1918 utilizing a gentler 0.82% grade. It wasn't long before the next westbound was aired up and ready to go. 5097 helps out one of the big boys, 4019. Their goal is to keep train speed up to 25 miles per hour. Any slower than that and traffic backs up. Fifty ninety seven, originally built as eighty eight oh seven, a three cylinder engine for the Los Angeles and Salt Lake Railroad in nineteen twenty eight, was rebuilt and renumbered in nineteen forty two. She is running out her last miles in helper service.
This is the operating problem on Sherman Hill. The extra crews and extra fuel get expensive in the long run. Just now, the UP is putting in finishing touches on a new low-grade line that will eliminate helper service on Sherman Hill for good. The big boy's job now becomes to keep the train from rolling out of control down the hill. Our next train must be a heavy one. 412-2 9061 is paired with 3709, an oil burning Challenger. Both of these engines alone can competently handle a train, just not on Sherman Hill. There seems to be a problem. The fireman on 9061 is having to work too hard to keep boiler pressure up. With that, speed begins to drop right when it's needed most. Several miles on, the signs are clear. This train is going to lose its battle with the hill. Instead of risking damage to the engines, it's decided to shut them down and call for help. Being in an intolerable situation, the decision is made to lend the quickest aid possible. The two previous trains helpers have been coupled together for the run back to Cheyenne as one train movement. They pick up new paper at the train order office in Buford. Centralized traffic control is brand new on the hill. The crossover at Granite is thrown so the helpers can couple up to the front of the stricken train. This event highlights the need for the new line, for the Union Pacific makes itself a top-notch Class 1 railroad by getting goods and people from connections at Council Bluffs to the Southern Pacific in Ogden as fast as possible. With the fire dropped from the 9,000, three crews begin the Herculean effort to start a train on the steep hill.
With gravity still fighting them, they struggle for miles. It took 5,400 tons of tractive effort, but the hill will be conquered. In just five weeks, the new line will be open, and scenes like this will pass into the fogs of time.